Welcome back to another OBS tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be learning about scenes. Scenes let us switch between uh, different sources that we have active within our recording or within our live stream. So far, we've just been using a single scene and creating sources in it. I'll add a, a source here real quick. I'll just go to my video capture device and we'll add the webcam. So this, is, this might be my first scene. I just want to have a large, uh, image of my webcam, a large video of the webcam for my, my stream or for my video I'm recording. But if I want to switch between my desktop, so I want to have talking to the camera sometimes and then switch over to my desktop, I would create a second scene. So to do that here under scenes, I just click this plus sign and click OK. And now I have scene one and scene two. So scene two is just blank right now. And if I click on scene one, it takes me over to scene one. So click on scene two and it's just blank. So maybe scene two, I want to be my desktop. So I'll click add and I'll go to screen capture and click okay. And now I'm doing a screen capture on scene two and I have my webcam on scene one. And we can set up different things. For example, we can set up uh, like we did in the previous video, um, different audio input devices. So a scene can change. Uh, maybe you're doing a like a, a newscast or an interview and you have someone at a different part of the studio and they have a different microphone. So you can set up all different microphones, all different cameras between these scenes. Um, if we click here, we can add a third scene and I can go to plus. And for this source, maybe we'll just do uh, an image. So we click image and then I'll navigate to a place on my computer that has an image. And we'll do this one right here. And now we have this image. Uh, oh, this is a very large, so I can resize it just like I would the video by just left clicking and holding and dragging this down. And if I click uh, in the middle of it, I can move it around. So we have an image right here. And now we have an image as scene three. We have my desktop as scene two. And we have my uh, myself as scene, as the regular scene. And if I want to rename these, I can just right click and go to rename. Uh, oh, did that change? And then we can just type in what we want. So we can call this one cam. We can call this one right click and go to rename. We can call this one um, desktop Oop. or what's we'll called desk. And so you can rename these just like you would over here. You can rename the sources as well by right clicking and going to rename. Um, so that's just a quick way that you can um, do scenes and your scenes carry over to the studio mode as well. So we haven't really looked at studio mode yet, but we'll do that in another video. But if you click over here on studio mode, um, it just shows you what you are looking at right now. Um, so this is the preview and this is what's actually happening, what's actually going out. And so you can change your scene for what you want to push next to, to make sure. So you can preview and say, yeah, this is the image we want to push over there. Uh, and then we can, we'll can cut over to it and we can choose, you know, what kind of uh, the, the transition and how long it takes to fade over to that. Anyway, we'll play with the studio mode more, but it's a great way to uh, work together with these scenes to create kind of a, a nice seamless transition over. So anyway, that's scenes. Uh, go ahead and play with that. Uh, we'll be using, there's some more functionality we can use in the future here too. We can rearrange them just like we um, did our sources by using these up and down arrows. But uh, if you have any questions or comments about scenes, leave them below. And in the next video, we'll be learning more about OBS. So join us for that. Thanks so much. We'll catch you in the next video.